six megahertz. They were crystal pin or no? Uh, no, they were just free running oscillators. Free running oscillators. The 400 megahertz. I was going to get into the details, the technical details, how the radio sound works. All right, this is a good time to go into that. I don't have any illustrative materials so to attempt to describe to you people how the circuitry works. It's a very unique system that they had. Essentially, the temperature element was a thermistor type. It is a negatively varying resistance with the temperature. As the resistance goes up, as the temperature goes up, the resistance goes down. Now, I had a mass spectrograph done on one of these thermistors, and I compared it to a YSI thermistor. And they all, they both have carbon in it. You know, they both are essentially carbon, but the uh, radio sign thermistor had some silver in it, and had some gold in it, had some platinum in it, had some iridium. I'm trying to remember the other two elements it had. It had a fair amount of silver in it. Silver was about 10% by weight. Now, for a thermistor, it's not going to make it any more accurate of anything. It's going to make the curve go really strange in the case of your metals like that. Of course, you read Wilhelm Reich literature, you'll find that Reich used sensors that had gold and silver in it. So that's one interesting note there. The humidity element is a plastic plate with silvered edges with a grid of conductive lines going across the plastic plate. You know, this way and this way. You know, this way, this way, this way, this way, this sort of thing. They put on it <coughs> a very odd mix of chemicals. The chemistry lab has not come back yet what the mix of chemicals is they put on it. Now, the unusual thing about the temperature and the humidity element is most electrolytic resistors I've ever seen the resistance goes down as they get damp. These things, the resistance goes up as they get damp. <coughs> now, what we're theorizing at this point, which we've proven from the esoteric side, we have no physical data to back it up, is that the thermistor rod, the, the temperature sensor, the temperature rod, acts like an antenna for the door. It acts like a door antenna out of phase. That's the dead orgo. The humidity sensor acts as an antenna for the orgo. Of course, this parallels the whole idea <coughs> of, you'll see in esoteric circles, people use uh, salt water solutions with uh, different electrodes in to detect these energetics with a fair degree of success. <coughs> Looks like here, right took it much further. Now, the pressure sensor is essentially what they call a barrel switch or a uh, <coughs> pressure sensitive cycling switch. That the thing would rise, the pressure would change. Well, I hope that helps you in your uh, studies. Um, I know it was, uh, some of that stuff is a little bit technical and kind of boring, but it's uh, all pretty important. It ties into this. Um, I see the big picture of this uh, whole system, this uh, solar simulating system. And... Um, on on the right track of what it's for.